busy person. So do you have time for a relationship? Um, no, not at the moment. I am very single, and I'm loving it. Single, sexy, free like Maya. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> what, so what type of dudes do approach you? Um, I'm going to have to say I, I usually get a lot of approachment from all types of dudes, but there are a, a group that I usually do get more attention from, and that is from the thugs. I get a lot of attention from the roughnecks. I guess they have a thing for pretty girls, so um, I usually have a lot of them coming up to me. But it's it's actually pretty sexy because that's actually kind of the guys I kind of like go for. So I'm actually okay with that. All right, do women approach you too? Oh, most definitely. <laughs> I've had plenty of occasions where I've had a girl come up to me or drive up on me, letting me know how pretty I am and how they would want to do a threesome with me and their boyfriend. And I kind of play it off, play with them and say, oh, really? I've never tried that, but I thought about it, you know, just to try to make them feel good. I'll take their number and just kind of not call them. And it just leaves it. I leave it at that. I can't do that. I'm sorry. So, yes. The whole Eddie Long situation, like, what do you, what's your take on that? Um, I really, really, um, I feel bad. I feel very bad about him. Um, I definitely think that he needs to do a lot of praying and healing and asking for forgiveness because he's making people that are bishops and preachers look bad, especially African American men that are bishops and. I think that he definitely um, is probably ashamed of himself, and he probably should be, because this is not something that is a good look. Um, I feel bad for him, and I feel like that I feel he should be praying to the Lord and hoping that this will all surpass and hope that he will be forgiven. I'm hoping that he's asking for forgiveness, because this is not something that is godly, you know, so... I definitely, I, I don't want to talk bad of him, but I feel that he definitely has some working to do to getting himself back up to part for people to respect him because he is not really highly respected at the moment. And it's it's sad. It's very sad. I'm a very religious person. I have a very, very close relationship with God. He has... I, I'm the reason why I'm here. He's the reason why I'm here today. Um, he's gotten me through so much, so many obstacles in my life um, with things where I probably just wanted to just break down and just cry and just didn't think I could move forward. I speak to the Lord all the time, and I definitely think that that's why I'm still standing right now. Like, uh, none of this media has failed to mess with my emotions at all. And I believe that's because God has given me a strong shield and has helped me go through it. It's just words, you know. They talked about Jesus Christ. So um, people are going to talk about you regardless. And it's up to you whether you're going to go and take it and go split your wrist or whatever. But I'm not going to do any of that. I'm fine. I'm happy. And I'm still going to go and do me regardless what's out on the Internet and the media what people saying about me, bad, good, I'm still going to be Sydney Star, and I'm still going to do me 